All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do like onboarding with Flutter. Basically, I'll show you an example. So basically giving your user a tutorial on how to use uh, features in your Flutter app. And so, yeah. And I'll let this uh, build, but yeah, so I have a Medium article on it if you prefer a written version of it. Um, yeah, but we'll need, we're using a package, which I, I've linked here in the Medium article as well. But we'll need to do these commands. All right, so we'll just run this command in the terminal. And then flutter pub git. I don't remember if it, yeah, I think I'll do pub git after. I think it just adds it to the YAML files to do that. Um, so, okay. And yeah, so we need a showcase widget. Um, which I'll just copy this. Oh, wait. So, <laughs> we'll use the default counter app. Oh, wait, this is Android. <laughs> I'm tripping. Um, okay. So of course it gives you all this basic stuff. So basically you want to put in the parent app. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, you have to get the context. It's just the way you'll have to do it if you don't do it this way. But yeah. So we'll get rid of this and we'll just import this. And then, um, so we're gonna make, so, Showcase widget is like the overall widget, <laughs> and then it gives its context. Which it's just the same context, but you need that context um, for it to actually show the widget, and then also you need you need widgets wrapped around the widgets that you want to have a tutorial of. So, like in the example I showed, um, uh, it was this one. So wrap it with a widget, and which it was just a showcase. Yeah, just showcase, not showcase widget. <laughs> it's kind of confusing, I know, but first we'll need a key and we'll create this. So we'll do like uh, counter text key. Then we need a description. So these are the two things you need, and we'll do counter description. Uh, yeah. And we'll fill those out. Yeah, so we'll fill those out, but we'll also have a showcase widget for a floating action uh, button. And we'll just wrap with widget and then showcase. I'll just copy these two. And this will be um, what? Floating key? <laughs> a float. Float button key? I don't know. <laughs> floating action key? Yeah, whatever. And we'll do float description. Just keep it simple. Um, so we we'll create these variables here. So um, or we'll do final. Uh, I don't even remember what I named it. Counter text key. And it'll just be a global key. Uh, yeah. Okay. And float, float button key, <laughs> right? I think that's what we use. Uh, float description and counter description. Okay. And counter description. This is kind of. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to we have a description kind of but uh, um so action button was flipped and then we'll do um loading description. I don't know. This is 
the button to click. <laughs> click to increment the count. I don't know. And yeah, so we'll also create like a start tutorial function, uh, which I don't remember that exact syntax. Uh, showcase widget dot uh, of context uh, start showcase okay yeah then it's a list of keys so it's the list of it, you put it in the order that you want <laughs> the tutorial to run so if you want the counter to run first and then the floating button we'll put the counter key first and then the floating button I want the uh, float bug key first and then the counter key. Counter text key. And that's all we need. Uh, it could possibly be no, so. Start showcase. Yeah. And we'll just create a button um, under this oh, counter description. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Um, what else do we want to do? Float description. All right. So now we want to make a. So this is a column, right? Let's just go ahead and get rid of it. So we can stack it vertically. Um, so I want to put another button. So I'll just put a text button under this. On press, we'll call a start tutorial. And the child will just be a text uh, widget that says, um, what should we do? Restart tutorial or start tutorial? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's just start tutorial. They want this to be a tutorial. Okay, so this should work and I'll stop it and then I'll show you how it works. <laughs> All right, so now that we have the app running, um, I'll just show you that it's still the same counter app, but we'll press start tutorial and now it shows <laughs> the tutorial. So it has our description. We, we you don't have to click on <laughs> the actual thing, you click anywhere on the app. And it will go to the next tutorial. And if it's the last one, it will just exit. So if I click again, it was the last one. So it just exited the uh, tutorial. And yep, we can start it again by clicking the button, clicking anywhere. You still use this button. And yep, that's it.